Black holes. These things are a complete mystery to science. And despite the fact that we've had many theories about black holes even before they were discovered, did you know that they were predicted back in 1916 with Albert Einstein's theory of relativity? However, the term black hole wasn't created until 1967. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to FTD Facts. Today we're talking about the mysterious objects in the cosmic universe known as black holes. Now, before I get into this video, I want to know if you guys could travel any place in the universe and any time, when and where would it be? It took them 51 years for them to come up with the term black hole. And that saying was coined by astronomer John Wheeler. It wasn't until 1971 that they discovered Cygnus X1, which is a binary star system in which they believe a black hole is present. And that system is roughly 65,000 light years away. This binary system contained an X-ray thought to be a black hole. Hole. They also say that each galaxy contains a supermassive black hole in the center. The Milky Way's black hole is called Sagittarius A, and it's about the size of 4.3 million suns. So are there different types of black holes? Well indeed there are. There are things called stellar black holes, which are small but deadly. And when these things collapse, they pretty much become the size of a city. Another more important one is the supermassive black holes. These are the ones that will swallow practically practically anything. But did you know that supermassive black holes are millions up to billion times bigger than the mass of our sun? But scientists aren't really sure how big they will actually get. So with that in mind, what is the biggest supermassive black hole to ever exist? We're looking at what might be S50014 plus 813. It's located near the high dilation of the constellation Cepheus, and it's 40 billion times the mass of our sun. So how do we see black holes. One method we use is radio waves on radio telescopes. It's because black holes send out different waves in which radio waves can detect. A quasar is like a black hole, except it's an extremely remote celestial object, an object that emits an exponentially large amount of energy. And oddly enough, quasars are the most luminous objects in the entire universe. The brightest and largest quasar is SDSSJ01 plus 2802. Its luminosity is 40,000 times more luminous than all the 40 billion stars in our own galaxy. When doing my research, you're probably wondering just as much as I. What is the oldest black hole? That would be GB1428 by 4217. It sits about 12.4 billion light years away from us, and it is the most distant X-ray jet ever discovered. Now, usually black holes are quite far away, but the closest one to Earth sits at only 1,600 light years away. If you were to fall into a black hole, there is a point called the event horizon. This is the point in which there is absolutely no return. Did you know that black holes suck in? in everything. And that's why you can't see them with light, because they will also suck in light itself. Speaking of sucking in, well that's not really what a black hole does. If we were to put that into a point of reference, it's more like a star or you falls into a black hole. And if you were to do that, you would get spaghettification, which means your body is being stretched while being condensed at the same time. And most likely, you'd be long dead before any of this happened. The only thing that that black holes really emit is radiation. Scientists feel that when black holes release all of its radiation, it will eventually die. The first time a black hole has been seen tearing a sun apart was discovered on March 28, 2011. This was discovered when scientists saw a burst of gamma rays 13.9 billion light years away. NASA witnessed the star named Swift J1644 being sucked right into its very own black hole. The first time black holes were thought of was way back in the 1700s by John Mitchell. He wrote up a concept called dark stars, which wasn't the exact same thing. However, he theorized that when a star collapsed, the light would actually be frozen in time. As I stated before, black holes pretty much condense everything into a small size. Scientists believe that the singularity, which is in the center of the black hole, condenses and shrinks everything into something no bigger than an atom. So there's our FTD facts on black holes, guys. I hope you guys learned something new and interesting. Again, a lot of these are just theories, and they're always meant to be disproven.